Brotato. The ghost. Danger 5. I don't even know if I start with the axe. The axe gets a lot of kills. This will get me a lot less XP in the first one, but the scepter is so good on this character because it gets 10 flat damage added to ethereal weapons. I kind of just want six scepters, I think. Maybe one axe in there. We'll see. So with the axe, I would have gained one stat here, one damage stat. And I would have got five or six more kills. And that's the axe. I'm not looking for the axe. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. And I want multiple of these scepters. I want six of them. Forget the axe. We want six scepters. Get some piercing in here. I'll find my damage in other ways. I just want stupid amounts of max HP. Because this character has negative 100 starting armor. So it takes basically double damage. Range damage? Give me the harvesting. What did I take from the first shop? Oh, this is the... F no. I don't remember what I took from the first shop. Huh. Okay. 3% dodge isn't bad. percent attack speed works I can't afford it because I re-rolled too much okay that's fair give me that lock that I already have three scepters I feel all right three scepters that do big damage for a while I do need piercing or some kind of AoE, because these won't do it. Attack speed kind of starts to do it. Oh, that's what I took was attack speed. I remember now. That'll do it. Baby elephant I like, but I don't need it early. Okay, one HP. Gaining max HP does not heal it, sadly. Pretty sure. That tree does. But I take almost double damage, so I need more health than that to survive a hit. I do have some dodge because I have four weapons. And this character just starts with a lot of dodge. Range damage? Okay. Range damage isn't as good as normal, but okay. It just brought it from 20 to 21. When it's bringing it from 10 to 11, it does a lot more. Second coupon. I kind of care about attack speed more than damage. I'm not going to lock it. Good start. 28 max HP. I'm guessing I'll get it up to at least 32 by the end of this wave. I think they'll all gain a stat. There should be 80 enemies in here. Thirty-three. Oh, I got piercing, too. Piercing does less damage, but still. Mm. Take it. Max HP isn't as valuable as it would usually be. 
kind of is. I think there's better stuff to get. Attack speed, dodge are very important. I might want burning at some point. Med turret right now would be really good. I don't have any regen. I don't have any lifesteal. It's about to be wave 6. At least it's not wave 7. Start with 1 HP. All of that to gain 3 max HP when my weapons gain me 3 we max HP every round for free. If I don't die, it was probably worth it. Plus, it's just one of those things that makes me happy to do. I like getting to take that item. It's kind of like bait. You're like, is bait a smart choice in this situation? I don't know, maybe. For 8% damage, eh. I mean, if it's going to keep offering me these purple ones, I guess I take it. I need these. Harvesting. Lifesteal and regen does a lot. I'm going to take that even though it's a damage down. Armor and engineering. Armor is negative 105. Looking for my sixth one of these. I'm gonna take that. Fifty-nine max HP. The eggs should be easy, actually. I could go one axe. I don't want to, but I could. If I didn't have piercing, I probably would. the tree. The egg hatched, but eh. There's only a few seconds left. Sixty-six max HP. Fifty-eight percent dodge. Could just take the three, but how much luck do I have? I have no luck. Let's look for a little bit of luck. Hey, there's ten luck. Ghost Axe 2. Hmm. I don't think I want it. Wisdom I want. This I'll take. Two luck for three regen. I will take that. I need to get my dodge maxed quickly. Sixty nine max HP. This and the next wave are easy. Next wave is when I should gain a ton of stats. So if I could tear up some of my staffs for next wave, that would be amazing. Plus, they're just good to tear up, anyways. From 69 to 73. Not a very good wave for gaining max HP. 75. I'll take that. 9% dodge. This one sounds very good. Um. Dodge. What wave is this? 9.
Gad, I have a lot of damage down. Do I lock this? Just take it, even though now I do even less damage. I should kill these pretty easy. I don't know if I out regen one damage a second now that I think about it. I don't think I do. Which is pretty bad. I do have a healing turret. But if I'm taking damage from enemies and I'm, I have negative regen, worse than negative regen, I just have damage per second. Maybe that blood bag was stupid. I think it was. Try again. I'm not good enough at dodging to take blood bag unless I have a lot of regen of some kind. If there's a tree, do I take it? I don't think so. Scepter was good. Can't afford both. Or go scepters. Do I combine up? No. I was just trying to think, like, I might get one extra HP if I do that. I'm at 11 now. If it goes to 13 or 14, then I'm glad I did not combine. For later waves, I definitely want to have six of them. For this wave... Not sure. Without piercing... I got four. Four is a good number. Six isn't that far away. Within reach. Okay, don't take stupid damage. It's pretty early. Sharp bullet was a good pickup. I feel so slow. Ten percent attack speed. I think over the course of the run, the luck will pay for it. <laughs> All of these are pretty important. Feels good. Eighteen max HP. Now is when I can start gaining health.
8% damage? I think I'm really looking for dodge. Harvesting, wave 5. Alright, I'll take harvesting. 9 max HP. I mean, it's early. I'm going to end up getting so much HP that that's kind of inconsequential, but that'll take a while. I do like Cyberwall. Getting dodge up is the next priority. 90% dodge. strong one range damage six percent dodge that's what i was looking for harvesting is good dodge is up to 75 percent chance Okay, so we have elites on 12. Pop the eggs. Should be easy to pop the eggs here. Wave 9, I'd like to get a big scepter. Fifty max HP. Lots of regen is good. Three percent lifesteal. Take that. Bait. Bait for wave eight. I could take it. Glass cannon. Glass cannon's a lot of damage. Do it. What do these do for crit? Double damage. Okay. Crit would be good on those. Okay. Bait, so I want to kill these quickly. Kill the remaining ones. Stop eating the projectiles. I think I killed them all. Okay. 8% damage from bait. I think that was worth it for once. Plus, if I get bait twice, I unlock a new character. So even if I lose this run, if I find another bait, I would get something out of it. But that means I'm going to be tempted to take bait, even if it's a bad decision. Which bait's usually a bad decision. It's in the name of the item. Unless I have 90% dodge, then maybe it's fine. But I still take double damage per hit. Yes. This is level 10. So I could guaranteed find a 9% dodge. Range damage is tempting. We really want this. 84% dodge, enemy speed down, more crit chance, reroll up for zero. Wisdom. God, I wanted these before wave nine, not after. Hmm. Okay. I 
think I combine up these weak ones, even though it reduces my dodge chance. I'm going to do it one more time. And hope that this gets me more kills. It's a bunch of weak enemies. I'm hoping strong piercing shots kill a bunch. Plus it requires less kills per... Scepter, whatever. To get the stat ups. I'm just hoping to get lots of HP up off of this. 60 HP. I don't know how much I started with. 62. Problem is, I see a big crowd alive. Which means I'm not playing super optimally. Yeah, if I could have bought those ones in the shop. My DPS would have been significantly higher. Still doing alright. Seventy-two max HP. Yeah, I think that one was good. All right. HP regen. I'll take it. Ten lock. What's my dodge at? Dodge will go up once I get these two more weapons. It's a good round. Um, dodge is eighty-four. Seventeen. Nine, eight, seven. Alien Eyes is good with this build. Alien Eyes is just good. If I start getting hit, I get hit hard. It's so hard to get out of the negative armor. HP regen, so now I regen one per second. It's a lot of dodge. Yeah, it's hard for me to ever take the armor up ones. This even gained two stat ups. It's because it does 23 damage versus 29. It does a decent amount of damage. 89 max HP. Slowing would be nice. A little bit of knockback. But mostly dodge. I can find that 5% to heal 5 HP when you dodge. That would be amazing. Can I kill that thing? I don't think so. I don't have enough time. 
three armor. I'm at negative 109. It's never going to happen. We could take the 3% dodge, but we can find better. 15% attack speed's pretty good. More attack speed? Piercing? Range damage down hurts, but harvesting and dodge, now I'm maxed out. Burn activates faster. Did I already take one of these geckos? I did not. I don't know. Why not? Blood leech? Regen is one of my big things right now. Speed's pretty good. Right, elite. I don't know what this elite is. Oh, it just runs around laying eggs. Okay, now it's shooting projectiles. I do notice I'm hurting it. Not much, but... I have wisdom, right? If I have wisdom... I might be able to kill that. Where did it go? Up here? God, if I could kill it, it would be pretty insane. I'm taking damage. Not feeling good about killing it. But I feel good about staying alive. Yeah, I'm not killing it. Minus armor. Just keep digging deeper into the hole. Minus range damage. Okay. Questionable. Just tons of attack speed. Could get some luck up. Luck up's kind of fun. More luck up. Minus 50% damage. Let's take it, I guess. Ghost Scepter 2. Wonderbot. Sword 3. Okay. I don't have a Ghost Scepter 4 yet. That's kind of sad. So I take an extra 50% damage. Along with having negative armor. So this round would destroy me if I get hit. Which I'm going to get hit. Dodge and my damage are both crazy. God, but yeah, I get hit hard. Three hits might kill me. I also gain extra XP this round though, so let's try and pick these up. I got three levels. Range damage, attack speed. Um, let's keep going attack speed. Makes me happy. 6 HP isn't that much. Life steal is. HP regen is good. I have two baby geckos. Glass cannon, cyber ball. Ghost flint. How low can we get this armor to go? That didn't even lower the amount of damage I take. Strange book. Blood leech. The base one is doing 30 damage. With only one range damage up, that's just because I have the percentage damage. Brought it from 20 to 30, basically. Plus the one range damage.
if I had a bunch of range damage, that percentage damage would be even better. I keep taking flat damage downs, though. Feeling pretty strong. Fifteen luck? Yeah, why not? Alien baby. I don't see a reason to give enemies extra speed. Giving me speed sounds good. I could actually take weird food. That one. I have enough dodge. I feel like there's an item where either my damage or my attack speed or something goes up with my dodge percentage. That would be really good to get. Wave 15. A little bit rough. Getting up armor, range damage. 54, 47. Dodge is still 94. Range is pretty bad, but my damage. Damage is good. Toolbox, nope. How many coupons do I have? Two. 17 as an elite. I would like to kill the elite and survive. Both those things. no idea what these whatever they are what the ones with the little growths on them what they do they must do something because they just kind of like stand there when I don't go fight them right I have trees spawn turrets I kind of forgot about that I have to take bait oh no I'm taking a bait during an elite but look we did it This armor up does nothing. This attack speed does a good amount. 40 harvesting, it's too late. I would give this up, would I? I don't know, I guess it doesn't do anything. I'm just paying money for nothing. Ghost Scepter 3, that does something. I would do 7% damage for a couple max HP, because I'll get it back. Speed for luck. I have a lot of luck. I don't have much speed. Alien eyes. 
They have done 38,000 damage. I mean, that's over a lot of time, but still. What if I just get a whole bunch of tardigrades? That would be kind of stupid. Let's go. Kill the... Things. The baits. I'm doing some damage. I killed the baits. That's good. It shouldn't be surprising. This is like overpowered, broken build. I should be able to kill this elite. One hundred and eighty max HP. Give me an amazing item with this red chest. HP. I don't think I need that one. Crit chance. 50 range. Yes. My crit chance is now 30%. There was a one range damage. I have 57 luck. We can do better than this. Or HP regen. Still good. Fiberball. Attack speed. This doesn't do anything. Ah. Speed is capped. I do want to get to 50 speed if I go endless. 50 speed, 300 range, I think are the two that I would want to get. There's no reason to lock that. I think they'd be easy, even easier to unlock if I just went off of Danger 5. Did I just blow that thing up instantly? I think I did. Holy crap, my damage is decent. And I don't even have an axe. I should just let the elite spawn. So yeah, this character is a little hard to get started. It's still a little bit concerning that I take big hits whenever I do take hits. But god, it's strong. I would have to start trading armor for damage. I can't do it. So it's never gonna happen. We're just gonna keep going luck. Luck is crazy. Luck engineering for minus damage. Glass cannon for min minus armor. We got down to taking 89% more. Extra food. Does food give me extra? Consumable heal three. I think it does. Maybe. I don't know what else I want at this point, so sure. Guess I like that. Wave 19. I think I am going endless. And just hope that I find the dodges heal me thing.
right? The alien eyes just shoot out more eyes, like, in a single shot. Attack speed range for minus armor. We love minus armor. Plus range and speed are the two that I care about now. Lifesteal is pretty good too, though. Speed is capped, but 80 range. I'm only now getting Ugly Tooth. Ugly Tooth is decent. That's two of these. Toolbox. Nope. Endless. Okay, I want both of the bosses near each other so that I can pierce and hit both. Does the wave end when they both die? I feel like it does, but I don't know if I've killed them going into Endless. Maybe I did. I think that was like Danger or Zero that I did Endless. Maybe Danger 1. I don't want to pop that tree first, just in case the wave ends. Oh, the wave does not end. Cool. Maybe it only ends early if you're not going to endless. Elemental damage for minus two dodge. You know what? We'll take it. 100% chance to negate the gecko things. Explosive turret. We'll take it. Alien worm. Good stuff. Not the best for Alien Worm, but whatever. 60 range? I did say that I wanted range up. Ghost Scepter 4. Why, yes. Over. Yes. Extra stomach. Yes, yes, yes. Plus one max HP when picking up a consumable at max health. That one's pretty awesome. I already gain a good amount of max HP, but gaining an extra 10. Holy crap, there's two bosses in here? Those are elites, I guess. Still, they might drop chests for me. Wait, is this what Endless is going to be? Just boss fights with big chests? If so, it could be really good. Oh, that's not a red chest. It's just a regular chest. Oh. I mean, still, it's good. I got four items here. But if they were red chests, that would have been broken. Maybe with a lu enough luck, all chests are red chests. Harvesting is going to go down anyways. I don't know. We'll take it. It's 20% attack speed. It's really range that I need. Range and speed. Range and speed. Flaming. Bl brass. Knuckles. More trees, definitely. Coffee I'll take. This I'll take. Okay, four out of six scepters. It's taking me way long, too long to get those six scepters. Six fully upgraded red tier scepters. Right, eating these gets me more max HP. A good amount more max HP too. So now I am glad that I took that planter. And more trees. More trees is always good. Okay, I 
think I gained all of my max HP for the round. Well, except the staffs. Keep gaining more. My range will keep getting higher. No level up or anything. Turret? Why not? Crown! I should probably take crown now. Bag? I should definitely take. Should have taken crown earlier then. I pick up all materials from far away. So really, I just need to pop trees, and other than that, we're good. If I get enough starting turrets, this just becomes standstill. So I should get the standstill increases attack speed if offered, for sure. Oh no, that's a speed down. It's a 10 speed down, too. That's rough. I just have to get to 50 speed first. We will take another bait. Um, We're looking for range and speed. Not range damage, but that's a lot of range damage. Okay. Lock. Crown. 35. It's a minus 80 range. I just have to keep this locked forever. Do you see how much attack speed that is? Plus 196% attack speed? Okay, so for that, I just have to get my range to 300. How do I do that? Sad Tomato is pretty awesome. Okay. More enemies. That sounds good. I'm keeping that red thing locked. This looks like a boss fight. This doesn't just look... Holy my... Oh, right. I started... No, I didn't start at half HP. They... They one-shot me there. I think. Maybe. Yeah, they do damage to me. Drop a red chest. You know you want whoa did they heal back stay on top of this thing it is doing damage to me but i want to kill it god i have wisdom my damage is going up they're healing they must be they're so cheaty i'm not even gonna kill it okay this is why i need to take that huge whatever it is Take it. Plus 20 luck. Why not? Cape. Big lifesteal. Big dodge for no reason. Okay. I just need my range way up. I'm willing to spin the wheel. Okay. These are getting expensive. Minus 80 range. I can't afford it. Good. Because I would have bought it. Kind of questionable, but whatever. Last cannon is still good. Strange book is strangely good. Okay. Wave 27 has an elite. Okay, I just noticed that. The range up feels good, but I'm about to give up all of my range. And we'll just get it back up again. That attack speed is too much, and that wave was scary, and I didn't kill it, and maybe I could have gotten red chests. I want to kill the next one. It's 
a lot of eggs. Which could be a lot of elites. Forty-seven max HP. Burn activates faster? Why not? Okay, I don't really have enough money to get everything that I want. Dodge becomes a tax beat? It's so much. I have 27. I'm not going to end up getting my stupid thing. Ghost Scepter 3. Yes. shift into a fire build like halfway through this. I don't heal up as quick as I would hope at all. I'm supposed to eat this food when I'm at full health. If I just let the food zoom into me at the end of the round, I will gain the max HP. God, if I would have had one axe, my damage would be higher. Piggy Bank stops working at wave 20. I'm going to take it, though, because it's only 42. 9% dodge. Kind of stupid, but that does get me 18% attack speed, I think. These rolls are expensive. I still can't afford it because I kept rolling. I needed it for this wave. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, I already locked that. Crit chance. I have 30% crit chance. Might be worth giving up to range damage. Probably is. It's just elites, it's not super bosses. They're very tanky. The enemies are scaling quickly. I don't think I get to go forever. This could be the end of me. Yeah, this could definitely be the end of me. I would have liked to have gotten that attack speed. Okay, I'm learning things. We'll see. Maybe I live. But I would want to be killing the elites right now. Which is not happening. I'm struggling to kill the normal enemies. Just give me dodge heals. I just got five items though. What? Ooh. Okay, late game, this actually does start to be a negative. I mean, it's still good. Explosion size is still good. This one's questionable. Plus 5 max HP, plus 2 HP regeneration for every permanent minus 1% speed you have. Huh. Goodbye, range. You will be missed. Attack speed, 87%. Attack speed, 323%. Cyberval has done how much damage? And that was before I just picked up another. 185,000 damage. Where's my other one? Alien eyes. 
435,000 damage. Okay, those are big numbers. Crit for range. I'll do that. Switch over to the Shredder build. Okay, I got a lot more regen. I got a lot more damage and attack speed. Mostly attack speed. Attack speed and piercing. Kind of makes me want to get more lifesteal. I have some lifesteal though. I should be trying to get this stupid armor number positive. I'm not trying to do that. Just get my range and my speed up. It's hard to do if I'm not gaining levels. I'm gaining a lot of items. Yes? Would have liked that earlier, but yes. Plus 80 range to lock my speed. Do I just give up on the speed? Speed only needs to get to 50. Engineering and regen. No, it's not good enough. Speed. We can get there. We can totally get there. Mammoth. I don't really want Mammoth. Fourth bait? Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Lock a level one Ghost Scepter? Sounds like a plan. I took bait. Bait doesn't really matter at this point. But it's 8% damage. Kind of want the lumberjack shirt because the trees are becoming surprisingly tanky. They're taking multiple hits. Plus, every tier 1 item that I take gives me 1 regen. And every tier 4 item I take gives me minus 2 regen. But the tier 4s are worth it, mostly. I was taking damage. Um, lifesteal damage for engineering, I guess. Take that. 30 range. We could do better, but it's something. Recycling machine, just so I don't see it again. Similar with bag. Wanderbot, I've already got, but now we've got another. Right, another boss fight on 30. I already know I'm not going to be able to kill these because they cheat and regen. Plus, they're just very tanky. Holy, I'm at half HP. I don't think I'm gaining my 10 HP from consumables very often. And sucks. Yeah, the trees are very strong. Six seconds. Take a med turret. Elemental luck minus engineering. 
I would take that mostly for the luck. Another garden? I would take a garden. Okay, silver bullet. I don't think I need it right now, but we'll take it. Shredder 3. Regen seems pretty good. Is that three elites? Yes. Did I kill the elites last time? It's not looking like it. Okay, I could have used that silver bullet. I thought there wasn't going to be an elite fight because I had just done a boss fight. Endless in this game. Kind of crazy. I could see having a build by this point that's way crazier than this one. All I scaled really is my max HP. Like that's the only thing I scaled like crazy. My attack speed ended up going very high. Run one. Yeah, but we just died. The Fisherman. We unlocked a new character because I did the two elites. Okay, plus five max HP, plus 20 harvesting. Shop always sells a bait. Minus 100% bait price. Plus two harvesting for every one bait you have. Plus eight. What? Baits make some special enemies spawn throughout all future waves. Oh no. Oh no. You just have to take unlimited baits, right? That's crazy. Okay, that sounds kind of fun. Back to the main menu. The main thing is, look, we did it. I now have four out of 44 completed. Almost a tenth of the way through. Is that right? Yeah, almost a tenth. Engineer could probably do it. What was that new character? Where is it? The Fisherman. This one starts with harvesting too. Sounds kind of crazy. I want to play that. All right, for now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.